The sheriff's office in a small Delta County has a new set of phone problems to deal with. Thanks for joining us at 6 on Bob Clawson. And I'm Ashley Ketz. We told you about Monroe County facing an almost $26,000 phone bill back in November. Well, the bill has been settled. Good news there, but as Carrick Forge Rebecca Jeffrey reports, the solution could have troubling consequences. Rebecca, tell us about it. That's right, Bob and Ashley. The phones in the Monroe County Sheriff's Office three years ago were sometimes too staticky to hear or would be down altogether, according to dispatchers. So the sheriff signed off on a new phone system that required the county judge's permission. The judge said he didn't give it and therefore refused to pay the bill for more than a year. As of this July, the hefty bill has been settled but involved reinstalling the old faulty phone lines. What's your emergency? It's a call you never want to make. I need an ambulance. But when you do, you want to know someone on the other end can help. This woman's son is calling and my mom's having a hard time breathing. She needs an ambulance. Ronnie Reynolds is the head jailer at the Monroe County Detention Center. Last week, he took a 911 call and tried to transfer the caller to the ambulance company, as they routinely do. It's coming on like it's a busy signal, but it's showing it's not making connection. You can hear in the call he tries several more times before he tries the landline. It's time our phones are shut down, period. The call finally went out on another dispatcher's cell phone. It's, it's an everyday battle with some of these phones. Last month, the sheriff's office new up-to-date phone system was taken out by the CenturyLink phone company. They had an order from our county judge to start pulling the phones out and put the old system back in. A move made by County Judge Larry Taylor, who back in November refused to pay the sheriff's office phone bill, the cost climbing to almost $26,000. The judge told us then it was because he did not sign off on the new system. Wednesday afternoon, he said the bill had been settled, but wouldn't go into further detail. We've got to have communication here. Keeping the county budget in the black, but leaving its dispatchers seeing red. If it's going to get to the point where we can't get emergency care to someone because our phones are not working right, I mean, it's going to get pretty serious around here. Now, when we were there, we tested the 911 phone line. We got through, but heard strong feedback while on the line. I reached out to the county judge, Mr. Taylor, to find out if this system will stay in place or if there's any other option for the sheriff's office. But he said only the previous $26,000 phone bill had been settled and he couldn't answer any more questions at the time. Back to you.